What's happening with the Detroit Hudson site? Today, we're gonna to explore one of the most iconic pieces of Detroit history, the Hudson department store, and explain to you about the history of it and where we're going today. Generations of Detroiters shopped, worked, made history in this iconic facility in downtown Detroit, all the way until the store closed in the 1980s after a century long run. And for decades, it's been vacant as a symbol of Detroit's struggling past until today. We're gonna to be exploring the Hudson site's redevelopment and what it's gonna look like in the future. And if you stay to the end, I'll be telling you about how you could possibly live in this amazing piece of history. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Ed Butler. I'm a local realtor and I make videos just like this one about everything you need to know about Detroit and Metro Detroit. And if that's something you wanna learn more about, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, drop a like below, and let's get into the video. Okay, so before I dive all the way into the future, I wanna give you a little bit of the history. So Hudson's was founded in 1881 by Joseph L. Hudson's, a businessman out of upstate New York that moved to Detroit, started his department store empire. Hudson started out in downtown Detroit on Woodward in a small shack facility, and over the next couple of decades, it grew to one of the largest retailers in the nation. In 1923, after all the success, they opened up the flagship store, the one that we're talking about today, and that was the, actually the largest department store in the US or in the world at the time with 25 stories. Could you imagine 25 stories of shopping? That's just absurd. That's kind of that's kind of wild to think of. Could you imagine like a 25 story Walmart? <laughs> it kind of was like a, a original times Walmart. They had sold everything from clothes to appliances to home goods and everything else in between. With all the success, they became one of the main players and employers in Detroit, employing thousands all over the city in the stores and corporate offices. That up until 1983, when they fell on hard times and all the sh operations had to close. And after 1983, the building just lay vacant there all up until 1998 when they finally demolished it and turned it into a vacant lot. And it laid there vacant for all those years up until now. And that's where the story of today comes into it at the redevelopment of the Hudson site right now. So this actually is a mixed use development site that's being developed by Bedrock Detroit, which is a subsidiary of Rocket Mortgage or Rocket Homes owned by Dan Gilbert, uh, the billionaire philanthropist and all around businessman in Detroit. The Hudson site development is actually gonna be the largest development to date in the city of Detroit. It's slated to spend about $900 million developing the whole entire thing. So to break down mixed use, that means they're gonna have residential, they're gonna have office spaces and then commercial buildings as well. One of which is gonna be a 912 feet skyscraper that's gonna have 58 stories and be the tallest building in Michigan. In addition to being tall, they're actually adding some really cool design elements. Everything is supposed to be like stepped so you can have outside terraces all around the building. So each kind of level will have a view from the city from that individual story. In addition, they'll create a very large public park, actually the largest outdoor space in Detroit, planning to be on the site grounds. They're gonna have a reflecting pool, an art installation, and then outdoor performance uh, space for you know local performance. Bedrock is also committed to infusing local artists with their input on the site and into the arts installations to showcase the, the heartbeat and culture of the city. And if you're worried about sustainability, they're really, really committed to this as well. You're gonna be having green roofs, they're harvesting rainwater systems, and of course, energy efficient buildings. Their mission is actually to become LEED Gold Certified, which is essentially the standard for sustainable building designs. The reason why this development is so important is because it's a part of a larger initiative in the downtown area to create a new face of Detroit and showcase how beautiful this city truly is and how we're just up there at the top tier with other cities around the country. It also helped the city as well. It's supposed to be generating at least $100 million per year for of economic development for the city each year, in addition to creating thousands of jobs for local Detroiters. Now, here's where you and I tie in the residences. These condos and apartments inside of here are gonna be some of the most top-notch, beautiful things you've ever seen because, I mean, it's right in the heart of downtown Detroit. So this is, has to rival other high-end complexes in the area and in other cities. Most of these are gonna have skyline views of the city and other amenities that you would expect to have in a very upscale establishment. 
There's supposed to be about 200 apartments and condos, and they're gonna range from one bedroom all the way up to four bedroom penthouses. Now, it's really difficult to give you a price range on what these will cost because we're still early in the development phase and it's still building and none of this stuff is really official yet from the residential and pricing standpoint. But you can expect that they're gonna rival some of the other ones in the local area that are down there. Some reports have come out that a one bedroom will start at $3,000 and go on up from there. So I expect these to be kind of premium, premium, top notch. And you can see from the location that you're gonna be walkable to every single thing. I mean, Little Caesars Arena down in Midtown, the queue line to take you all up and down the city, and all the local bars, restaurants, and shops that's right in walking distance of this location. It won't be far-fetched at all to think some of these penthouse condos will probably go upwards of a million dollars plus for sure. So be on the lookout for that development coming in 2024 is what the slated completion date is for. Uh, I'll be keeping you updated as we progress along with some shorts and videos like that. So if you wanna hear more and see more of videos just like this one, go ahead and tap the subscribe button down below. Hit a like on the video if you got anything out of this. And if you're looking to make a move in Detroit or within Detroit, feel free to reach out. I love to have your back in your home buying or selling journey. And with that, I'll catch you on the next one.